Hello, this is Patrick with Urban Carry Holsters, and today we're going to be doing a full field strip and proper cleaning of the Sky CPX2. Sky's a newer manufacturer, and they're actually right down the road from us, about 30 minutes away over in Daytona Beach, Florida. The Sky CPX2 is a compact carry firearm. It's got a good price tag on it. It's relatively affordable. It's a double action only, double stack magazine, and it's becoming more popular because of that magazine capacity. For now, though, we're going to go over to Chase for the full field strip and proper cleaning. Again, my name is Chase, and uh, we're going to be doing the field strip and cleaning of the Sky CPX2. Uh, first, we want to see if this gun is safe and ready to be taken apart. So we're going to eject the mag, make sure there's no rounds in the mag. And as well, check inside the chamber, make sure that there are no rounds. So this gun is ready to be taken down. So first things first, we're going to take off the slide. Now with taking off the slide, you need to bring back the slide completely, engage your slide catch, okay? Because this is your basically your takedown pin, all right? It's kind of weird, but it has a little slot in the top of this half moon right here where you can take your finger or a net, uh, basically a rimfire cartridge and pull it out. Or a screwdriver but it really is simple as you can see I can just take my thumb let's do it again for you right here take your thumb pull it out and that is your takedown pin okay very simple after that just en disengage your slide catch and your firearm will come apart all right first things first we're gonna work with the slide and you want to take your recoil spring off this just take your finger Push on the back of it, lift up. Now make sure you make sure you just put that off to the side. Then bring your barrel up, just push through the ejection port right here. Okay? As you can see it'll lift up and just take that barrel out at an angle. So we're gonna use some Poppy's Elite gun uh, solvent. Okay, this stuff helps uh, loosen up all that carbon and copper and and lead and anything else that's been shot through your firearm. But this is going to help lift that out out of the metal. So what we're going to do is since this is a 9mm, I do have a 9mm brush. But instead of using a lead, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this brush in one of the cleaning cloths. Okay, It'll be just as effective as encoding the barrel. So I'm going to take that solvent. And again, you don't need to go crazy with this stuff. Just one or uh, two or three sprays and go ahead and coat that barrel okay again so this will help just lift any of that grime out of there as you can see it's already starting to do so okay so we're just gonna let that sit we're gonna use the same solvent for the slide okay there's certain areas of the slide you'd always want to clean uh, your slide rails uh, underneath the bolt a lot of times have a lot of deposits in it. And also get where your barrel meets your slide, right up here in this port. Doing this, all you need is a brush, really, a nylon brush. Um, I use the gun kind of gun cleaning type brushes, but you can also use a toothbrush. But take some of that hoppies of lead. Just again, a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Go ahead and get those slide rails. Give it a nice little scrubbing. Again, we don't want any deposits, you know, getting in here, which then will possibly make your gun inoperable to fire. So another place that I like to put attention to, of course, is your bolt face. Okay, As you can see there's all kinds of brass and different deposits right there. So what I do is I'll turn it upside down, so I don't get anything inside the the firing pin system, but give that a good scrubbing too, okay? Uh, as well, the extractors right here, and any kind of gunk that gets behind that, again, then your cartridges are not going to eject properly. So it is important to give this area a good scrub. And again, don't use too coarse of a brush. Don't use uh, any kind of uh, steel brushes. Uh, again, this will just end up hurting your gun. So nylon or, yeah, like I said, a toothbrush. 
We'll do five. Alright, so now that's coated, we're going to let that sit. And since I still have a little bit more on the brush, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and attack this recoil spring in the guide rod. Just get a little bit on there. That way, if there's any deposits on here, they'll be easily lifted off. Again, this is another portion of your gun that you would like to clean. But we'll let that sit. Now, next, we are going to use some more of this solvent on the innards of the gun. Of course, there's metal inside this polymer frame. So we just want to lift off any, any excess crud that could be sitting in there, dirt, yeah, powder, anything that can come from firing the gun out of the range. Definitely get the slide rails, a little bit of the internal the hammer. Okay. Now in this firearm, there is a spring uh, inside the magwell. I'll even get, attack this a little bit. Okay. This is that mainspring for your for the hammer, and this is a double action firearm. So we just want to get some get some of that cleaner in there. That way, anything any kind of deposit I've got in there. We'll be able to get it out. So now your gun is clean and ready to put that together. Again, uh, there is one aspect. Um, I'll do this in some videos, some and not. But you always definitely want to clean your magazine. Uh, a lot of times this is left alone for a long time. And there are holes for dirt and grime and powder and all kinds of stuff to get inside your magazine. So it is important to clean every once in a while. Uh, it's as easy as taking a punch, and it has a little pin on the bottom, which you just depress. Then remove that finger guard, and you have a little plastic buffer. This can just be lifted out. All right, and then you can just take out your spring. All right, now, then also the follower. Now this is plastic. Okay, of course you might want to clean this a little bit. Okay, again, powder, all kinds of things are going to get on here. But we do want to clean inside of the magazine. So what I'm going to do is, uh, just as a simple clean, I'll just take like a little Q-tip. Uh, you can also use, you know, a cleaning rod with a little tip at the end. You know, use some swabs whatever you feel comfortable with. All I'm gonna do is just spray a little bit of that solution on here. And again, a little bit goes a long way. Now I'm just gonna go in and clean all the little crevices along the walls. And all the reason why I didn't want to use a lot of is because I don't want to just soak this magazine. But I definitely want to be able to get as much crud as I can out of here. And as you can see, there was a lot in there. Again, this is why it is important to clean your magazine. Okay. It's not really done that often. Um, of course, you don't have to do this every single time you clean. This is just an aspect that I wanted to show you. That way, you know what you're looking for when cleaning the gun. Just gonna go through again and wipe off any of the excess. As you can see, it's still coming out. And guys, make sure that you clean your mags every once in a while. All right. So now that inner of the magazine is clean, uh, what I'm going to do is just take one of my, my little pads. And this is where I will start to use a little bit of oil. I don't use too much. Again, uh, you don't need a lot of oil when cleaning a gun. Uh, basically, it's just to create a small, slight film over your metal parts so that they are protected from rust and just the weather. 
and even your body sweat if you do carry this on your on your on your person. Okay, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give this spring a nice little coating. And that's all you really have to do with your spring. As you see, there was a little bit on there too. But again, magazine cleaning is something you don't think about, but it's definitely necessary. All right, so to put this back together, what you're gonna do is put in your follower. Of course, you wanna put everything back in the way that you found it. So this goes in at this angle. Then take your spring. And there's, of course, on this spring, there's a smaller loop then, and then a larger loop then. The larger loop goes down towards the bottom of the magazine. And insert the whole thing. It's kind of nice because there's these lips on, on the magazine cover itself. That make it a whole lot easier to keep that spring in there. Okay, then you have your little buffer pad. Okay, Make sure that you keep with the little, little nose up facing you. So it's a lot easier just to insert in from the top. Okay, you could slide it in from the front, but I don't know, it is a little bit easier to do it that way. Alright, then you press a little bit, put into those little rails. And there you go. The magazine's now back together, functional, and clean. Now that's done, we're just gonna put the whole gun back together. As you can see, we only have four parts. So it's gonna be very, very simple. Now, before craze, of course, what we're gonna do is just give our barrel a nice little scrub, because we did have that solution sitting in there. In. I just scrubbed it. Now I'm going to just take one of these cleaning pads. Get any of that excess that's still in there. And as you can see, that Hoppy's Elite does help bring up all that, all that powder fouling and all that copper that's still left in your barrel. But I can assure you now that this barrel is pristine now. Of course, we like to definitely make sure we maintain our firearms here at Urban Carry, so we're not going to be too dirty, but of course we do like to have fun, so every once in a while we'll have to do a deep cleaning. And of course we're going to wipe down any excess on the slide as well. Okay. And again. See, that's why you do need a solution. Don't just use oil when cleaning your gun. Oil will, you know, help bring out a little bit, but overall, if you really want to deep clean, you want to get some sort of, some sort of solution, or cleaner, anything to that extent. Last, I'm gonna wipe down this frame. Make sure there's nothing else left in here. And of course I put some on that mainspring down here. Well, now that's all done, I'm just going to expect the gun one more time. Um, again, it's a good thing that you always do. I almost forgot about your feed ramp. This is another uh, place where it is very good to clean. Okay. Again, 
as long as you clean it often, it's not going to be too hard to clean, but you want to make sure it is nice and polished off. Let's give it a wipe down. And now, now that everything's wiped down, we don't have any excess oil, any excess gun cleaner, anything like that, we're now set to put this gun back together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my barrel, insert it in at an angle, okay, push it back so it makes sure it seats properly. Take that recoil spring, okay, and one end goes towards the front, one end goes to the back. The larger disc towards the back, smaller towards the front. And this barrel has a little groove set in it so that you can't help but push it right where it needs to go. So it's not going to be off to the side or anything like that. But take your frame, slide, find those slide grooves. There we go. Seem to be just a little bit of problematic, but bring back, make sure your barrel is forward, engage your slide catch, take your pin, same way, half moon will be down, and just give it a good little push in, disengage your slide catch, and this gun is now ready to take out to the range or defend yourself with. Thanks Chase. Now we're going to go over some of the features and facts about this firearm. The Sky CPX2 has a standard three dot sight, uh, sight platform on it that sits atop this low profile slide. The slide's actually designed this way to help reduce glare and overall bulkiness, helping to conceal it a little bit better. The slide and the barrel are both made from stainless steel and the steel in this firearm actually goes through the same hardening and heat treatment as mil-spec AR platforms do so it's extremely durable. The slide serrations on here are actually arched, they're not just straight up and down, and I like that. It's got a, an aggressive texture to it and gives you a good grip on the slide when you need to rack it. Internally, what you're looking at here is a double action only system. It's hammer fired and it has a restrike capability in case you have a bad primer, you want, want to try to send off that round again. All right, moving on down to the frame here. You can tell that it's a little bit bulkier frame. It's a little bit wider than the slide. But what Sky's done here is they've actually put a recoil pad in the back of the handle of the grip here, and that helps reduce some of the recoil. Now, it is a little bit bulky, but if you've got large hands, it fits really well, especially with the pinky extension here. The trigger, like I said, is a double action only mechanism, so the trigger is a pretty long pull. And it's fairly heavy as well. Now, it's smooth all the way until the break point. It's a pretty good trigger, but like I said, heavy. As far as the texture on the grip, you're not getting very much aggressive texture out here. There's not any real stippling, it's pretty smooth texturing, but you do have the finger grips here which help you get a good grip on it. Now moving over to the other side of it, you've got your slide release which is polymer coated. It's a little bit bulky, but because of that polymer co uh, coating, it's actually pretty smooth and doesn't get hung up on anything. The mag release here is pretty well sized and does a good job of helping your thumb find it even if you're not looking. The magazine is a double stack 9mm magazine and you have a 10 plus 1 capacity with this firearm. When we're talking about the Sky, you're looking at good affordability, a fairly reliable pistol, and just overall a good weapon for concealed carry. It could be a good choice for your first concealed carry weapon, or if you're somebody who likes a little bit bulkier grip, it's a good option for you as well. For more videos like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like this video, definitely share it. With your friends, you can find us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, or just search Urban Carry Holsters. Until next time, keep calm and return fire.